Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matt Lutcher with 1836 Property Management here in beautiful Austin, Texas. This is our Q2 review for 2022. Uh, we did one video on investor feedback. This is going to be a video about resident feedback so that you guys know that we take your comments seriously and we are always trying to improve where there is availability for us to improve or the uh, environment permits it. So let's dig straight in. We're going to get through six of these today. The first one being no one ever answers the phone. Email is usually the response back. Doesn't feel very professional, always not always a prompt response. So um, I'm gonna start kind of at the end of this. We have a 24 hour response uh, requirement within our staff. Uh, you'll notice that you email some companies, they'll get back to you in two, three days a week, whatever. We try to respond within one business day by the end of that business day, no matter what, just so that you can at least know that we received your message and we're working on it. A lot of times we have to do research very infrequently to someone call and just say, hey, what's the answer to this? Because they can find it on our website. Um, so if we're digging through something, that may be a little bit of the delay. Uh, the other is sometimes we email back because it's a documented response. But know that if you email your property manager or anyone else in the staff and you'd like to set an appointment to meet, we would love to do that. We'd love to actually have conversations, connect with you guys and, and ensure we're always on the same page. But you'll need to ask for that appointment and just set it. Uh, we're never sitting around with nothing to do and people are, are always poking us. And so we want to give you our undivided attention. Just ask. We can schedule it and we'll give you our undivided attention whatever time that may be. Number two, uh, not applicable. Things have always been great and the team has always been very helpful and accommodating. Some positive feedback from a resident. Very nice to hear. Number three, we're going in our fourth year of the same property. The management team has always been quick to address any issues or concerns. The only real problem is the quality in which household problems are handled. Problem is the quality in which household problems are handled. That is correct. We've had multiple fixes that either did not complete the project, did a sloppy job, didn't address the concern at hand. Uh, I don't like to cause a fuss, but expect to uh, that any repairs that happen are completed fully and well. I could not agree with you more. I got to tell you guys as residents or anyone else watching this that home warranties are one of the biggest challenges that we face. Investors get these home warranties either with the purchase or they think that they're going to remove all the expenses related to maintenance. And they'll have us go through those home warranties over and over and over because they don't want to spend out of pocket. The truth is, is that home warranty companies make money by not spending money using really poor quality service providers and then being more interested in the deductible than actually providing the service or doing it right the first time. So um, sometimes we're hamstrung by those home warranties and we are very frustrated as well because just as you guys are dealing with it on your end, we're having to spend money on labor to repetitively go back and oversee those. And uh, it's all in an effort to really save the owner money, but sometimes not the best route. So we feel you. Uh, we couldn't agree more. And if there are service providers sent to your property, uh, our goal is really to get things right first time. Uh, one of the investor complaints we have is that we can find cheaper providers and we're back to the same thing. We want reputable providers that go out and do things right the first time. And that's our goal. So we're definitely aligned with you on that and couldn't agree more. Number four, Water quality is very poor in Texas. Homeowners should provide a water filter. It's difficult to clean the bathrooms with poor quality of the water, and you have to spend money buying water for drinking. Um, the water actually varies just about neighborhood to neighborhood, um, even in our area. So across Texas, obviously, it's much more dramatic. If you do wish to spend money for drinking water, that's certainly an option, but the property management company doesn't control the quality of the water. It is controlled by... I think it's TCEQ, Texas Commission on Environmental Quality or something like that. And it is tested. So it's safe. Um, if you wish to have a, a water filter or something of that nature, then that may be something that uh, you need to discuss with your property manager. But the homeowners can choose or not choose to provide that. And that's just something that goes with that. I mean, just as if you were in an apartment complex, they may not filter all the water. It's, it's going to be the same thing with the single family. Number five, great Fair rate, great property to live in. My son has finally felt like he was home. Wow, this that's really good news. And uh, I, it kind of warms your heart to make you feel like somebody actually can uh, feel good and call a house their home. So thank you for that feedback. Uh, last is number six, automatic payment is broken. There's no way to set up, to set an account to auto pay balance. So the software we use is through a third party called Bill. Buildium is based out of Boston, so they are a US-based company, and they service over 10,000 property management companies uh, around the nation. They use a payment provider called Forte, and all that is in place just to make sure that your money goes to the right place. The automatic payment button 
um, is something we can certainly put in a ticket on, but I would actually try to clear your cache, clear your browser, try a different browser, something of that nature, because there are so many people around the nation using that system that if a button's broken or something's not functional, it's usually handled before we even know about it because of the volume that they deliver. So just be aware that those uh, buttons and that website that you interact with is a third party. Uh, but you know, we're not the only company using them. We don't control it. So we can put in a support ticket and always just email your, your property manager if you have a question like that. Let them walk you through it, set up a time, see if you can screen share. And maybe they can point out something to you that would be helpful. And hey, again, worst case, we'll send in a ticket, see what happens. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, we'll catch up with you again after Q3 of 2022. And as always, uh, you can find maintenance troubleshooting resources and much more on our website on the resources page or go to Building, and they'll have some resources for you as well and things like that on there. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.